Hey guys! Welcome back to the Wingmen. We're here in, well, generic sort of English town hall. Yep. You might think that, but we're in Leeds. Leeds. Now we're trying to eat the top five viral food spots that Leeds has to offer, Max. What do you mean trying to? I'm sure we're going to succeed, uh, unless there's somebody trying to stop us. No, there's no enemies of the Wingmen yet. <laughs> although I would love an enemy. Would you? At least one? The biggest enemy of the Wingmen is diabetes and obesity. Oh, no winning, man. Oh God, they're winning. We're not just here for a lovely day out, Max. We're no. going to be reviewing the top five viral food spots in Leeds and then rating them. Flight, shite, or all right. What are we going to be trying today, Max? Yorkshire Raps. My name is Max and I'm here to say burgers, hot dogs, sandwiches, and I believe shawarma. So do us a favor. Subscribe to The Wingman, leave a comment where we should go next, and join us on our adventure around Leeds. Leeds. I am worried about diabetes. Oh yeah? Yeah, I piss loads. Maxi boy. Um, hey Joe. On our way to Leeds. Are you excited in this? Uh, I am very, very excited. I love the countryside that we go through at the minute. It would cost so much to live here though. I often wonder who does live here, do you know what I mean? Like, Old where, where money. are the rich people? Old, Old money. money. I used to hate the countryside. Why? Because I get, uh, I've got a hay fever. Yeah. And it's so boring. Yeah. But as I've grown older, I'm like, you know what? There is some sort of, there is something about it. I love seeing the sheep and the animals. Uh, if you could be any right. farm animal, yeah. what would you be? I'd probably be the farmer. The man, be. the greatest animal of all. Here we are, landing the Leeds Max. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Ready to try our first spot? Yes, well, I'm quite surprised because when I was told we were going to see things in bread today, I thought, I know. <laughs> Max, I thought you said I was going to have the inbred joke. He's an absolute. When did diva. I say that? You said, because you could say about me doing stuff with dogs because we're in yeah. Leeds. You said I could get the inbred joke. No, you said you were going to make a joke about me. Anyway, it's not inbreds, anyway, it's things. Inbred. So excited. Nothing to do with your cousin or like having too many toes, like producer Chris. <laughs> it's to do with. He doesn't have too many, they're just web. Oh, they're just web. It's to do with delicious fillings inside bread. Uh, and I've got my eye yeah. on the chicken and bacon one. Max, let's have a watch of this. This is the viral video. Okay. Oh, nice. <laughs> How to make mail. Okay. No, stop. <laughs> look at it, look at it in all of its glory. Oh my days. That does look good. It's really lovely inside as well. Yeah. There's a beautiful art to it. It's like a fancy subway. I'm sure they'll love that. Put it on the poster. Perfect. Should we go and eat? Uh, yes, please. You lead the way. Oh, leads the way. <laughs> He's definitely inbred. Max, in front of us, it looks like a piece of art. <laughs> I did say that is a mountain of bacon there. Now I've not got my glasses, so I can't see far away. Can you read out what it actually says on the uh, on the the menu there? Yeah, of course I can. Uh, XL chicken and bacon mayo. <laughs> now Look you saw how amazing XL, it was. baby. Things in bread come closer, come closer. They do not go halves on the absolute stunning. Well, they do. They have the sandwich. Oh, they do have the sausage. The beautiful mayo, chicken, bacon. That simple. That incredible. Me and Max. I said to each other that we're going to try and not eat as much food on these tours because you know yeah. we're big boys. But this I've looks. A lot of weight since joining. <laughs> this looks too incredible. Yeah, Look into each other's eyes for the wingman. Oh. Mm. <laughs> now that. <laughs> that is everything you want and more mm -hmm. in a butty. Mm -hmm. A lovely tender chicken. Beautiful mayo, that and crisp, lovely sauce, and that crispy bacon. I don't know how they're doing it. So good. But that bite of food, the delicious bread. That is really it's good. It's one of the best butties we've <laughs> one of the best butties we've had on the wing. 100%. Wing. I've got to go with flight. 100%. I think if you need a sandwich, you're in Leeds. An artisanal you're, sandwich, I'd say. A, a, an amazing sandwich. This isn't, this isn't like you, you know, you can go in Tesco and get something like this. Give me another word beginning of A. I said amazing, you said artis artisanal. Yep, what give would me, I do? I give me another word we're beginning with A. Um, uh, ooh, agrophobic. Ooh, what does that mean? I think it's people that can't leave their house. I thought you were going to say outstanding. No, you can leave. Do they do, what do they do? Out, That's an O. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and the idiot. Come to things in bread. Because for me, it's flight. Flight, 100%. I'm going to I'm going to eat more. Yeah, listen, come here. We did say to each other, uh, you know, it's a long day today. Five different spots. Mm -hmm. Maybe just only have one bite of each food but I can tell you straight away, that's gone straight out the window because things in bread 
your sandwich is stunning. What he said. <laughs> We're in Hebden Bridge. Hebden Bridge, isn't it? Do you want any facts about Hebden Bridge? Uh, you told me it was the lesbian capital of the world. Oof, the world's a big statement, I think. <laughs> I think it was just the UK. <laughs> okay. But we'll go with the world. Uh, and also, John Richardson, do you know the comic? He moved here with his wife. Oh, you, know, you see him yeah. on 8 out of 10 cats was Yeah, yeah I know him. Yeah. yeah, they've got a pub in the back garden called The Dog and the Bastard. I've got a joke. Go for it, cheeky fucker. Hey Pick Joe, point at me. I hear you like leads. Do you take them off or leave them on <laughs> when oh. you're just writing? <laughs> Ooh, well I can't wait till we are in. <laughs> <laughs> can't think of anything. If you have to come back to me um, by the end of this, by the end of this episode, I'll have a joke to <laughs> stay <laughs> tuned. <laughs> to stay tuned to compete with that one. <laughs> right then, Max. Go on. We talk find to me, ourselves Joe. a very historic place. Go on. It's called. Kirkgate Market, established in 1857. Nice. And who was the Prime Minister? Mr. Kirkgate, famously. Would, would you believe it? And who was the uh, the monarchy? <laughs> the King of England. It was indeed. Max, you're a very <laughs> yes. clever boy. Love uh, history, mate. Let's have a look at what we're going to be eating, because we're going to be eating okay. inside of here. And we're in Yorkshire, aren't we? We're in Leeds. We're in Yorkshire, we're in Leeds. So the delicacy has to be Yorkshire pudding. Let's have a look at this. This is the Yorkshire Wrap Company. This man himself. Oh my days. Not this man himself. He's eating there. Essentially, <laughs> you get what you call a, a Sunday dinner inside. That is cool, man. A Yorkshire pudding wrap. He keeps he keeps showing himself to it a lot. He loves it. Oh, oh he's a dirty. He, he uses his knives and forks. Are we going to use our bare no, hands? No, I'm going to use my bare hands. <laughs> like human hands. Come with us. Let's go. This way, Max. Oh, is this us? That'll be you, lads. One pork, one beef. Little behind the scenes uh, magic here. Joe's already walked over with the food, and now he's doing it again. What are you saying about me, you? Just because he tripped a little bit the first time. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. This is the stunning Yorkshire pudding wrap. One beef, one pork. <laughs> what do you want to start off with? Do you want to start off with pork, or do you want to start off with the oh, beef? I've dropped a quid. He's dropped a quid. This is the reviews that the wingmen do. He's dropped a quid. I'm going to go for the pork. You're going to go for it? I'm a porky boy. I can tell you, already, I am welcomed with a beautiful, healthy amount of pork. We've got some stuffing in there. And look at this wrap. It is looking golden that and gorgeous. Is, it's like a volcano of yeah. meat. It is not a nickname. Temperature-wise, it's it so hot. It's very hot, isn't it? But that, my friend, was an incredible bite of food. There's something in that pork mm. one, which means the pork's so tender, We've got a lovely bit of that pork fat. You know when you get a little bit of crackling, it cricks yeah, apart yeah. at that. Stuffing is elite. That's amazing. The insides. The insides of it all. They say the insides what counts. That oh. is elite. Yeah. We've all got the excitement on our This is incredible. That's really good. Uh, do you want to go for the switcheroo, Nee? Um, yeah, go on. He wants one more bite of your I beef, do. don't you? I do He's want a one more bite. Beef. He's a little beefy boy. Drink watch, Fanta. What are you doing here from the other end? Do you want to say sorry? No. It's bringing such nostalgic vibes. Because I've had these flavours all my life. I've had the Yorkshire pudding. Yeah, yeah. I've had a lovely bit of meat, there's some veg in there. It's some cooked sweetness. so well. Everything about it, all the elements together. Let me just try some beef by itself. We've we'll got a red cabbage in there. Look at it. No, that, was, that wasn't like you, Chris. That was like the audience. What do you think? It is good, isn't it? It's so tender. It's, out, it's outstanding. Yeah. It's like baby Jesus, tender and mild. What? Like baby, that's How do you know say. baby Jesus was tender and mild? That's what they say in the songs, isn't it? Who do you reckon was the first person to wrap something in a Yorkshire pudding? Um, probably the baby Jesus. Yeah. Don't tell me that if Jesus came down now and you were going to bring him a gift, you wouldn't consider a Yorkshire pudding wrap. Could you maybe do the review in a, as a Yorkshire wrap? My name is Max and I'm here to say the Yorkshire uh, wrap company is flying away. He's right. Because it's a flight. This is one of those spots, very reasonably priced at seven quid, does it say over there? You see? Seven quid for a wrap. Yeah, yeah. Seven quid, you'll be stuffed, you'll be happy, oh, you'll man. be nostalgic, and you will be on top of the world. Yeah, yeah. Leeds, you are treating us today, because that, my friend, so is good. another flight. Yeah, yeah. A flight. Literally no, nothing wrong with it. What more could you want? Max Leeds, have you ever been? I have not. 
You've um, never been to Leeds? Never been to Leeds. I don't even think passing through. I, I, just, I know Chris Moyles is from there. Yeah, yeah. Anyone he's else? A, he's a famous man. <laughs> Anyone else? Um, the Leeds Festival. Yeah, the guys are really, chiefs yeah. there from that. Are they? Yeah, yeah. Ruby, 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 Ruby. Yeah. yeah, I don't think I've got any other hits, have they? Just that. No, they do. I predict the riot. Okay, two very old songs. All Anything right. else? Uh, Their repertoire. All the kids on the street, no, they never miss a beat, no, they never miss a beat, never miss a beat, never miss a beat, 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 beat. Oh, uh, that. My mod. Sounds like it's fungus. Should... Yeah, this is where you should leave then. You look fungus. He's a fun guy. Thank you, thank you, I'm a fun guy. So, Max, we find ourselves at Fat Annie's. Okay. Do you know her? <laughs> nah, nice, yeah. Why would I know her? His sister. Uh, we have got... Um, we Let's have... not move on from that. Sorry, sorry, My sorry. My sister. <laughs> sorry. Uh, we have got... It's not even called Annie. A, <laughs> a plant-based US street food stall here. Okay. I believe... Interesting. This might be the first plant-based review we've ever done. We did do the vegan sausage roll in uh, the Oh, Greg's. we did do that. And we have had vegan chips for a while, haven't we? Really vegan, yeah. Yes. yes. James, would you say hello to the uh, wonderful Wingmen uh, viewers? Yes. We're not alive, by the way. We're not alive. Yeah. <laughs> stunned him there. So we moved from like speciality meat hot dogs to um, going a bit more veggie over the years. Yeah. And then during COVID, we decided to flip it and go. How did that transition place. happen? It was like a bit of a personal journey as yeah, well. Okay, so, yeah, like, yeah. watched one too many Netflix documentaries. Yeah, and, uh, been there. So, this is the Animax. So, this is our first ever special that we did. Used to be with our meat and sausage, but now we've gone with tofu. Nice. It's like an organic smoked Ooh. beechwood tofu dog. Nice. So Can I ask why it's called the Animac? So it was basically a Big Mac as a hot dog was the original concept. Right, okay, then, yeah. Because we're Fat Annie, so I thought Annie Mac. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I uh, actually tweeted Annie Mac when I did it on the streets in Manchester going, oh, come down and try it. And then find out she was vegan. And I was like, oh, oh, oh no. Well, at least she didn't call me Annie She can Mac come now, can't she? Yeah, yeah, there we go. So Annie, Annie Mac. Mac. Annie Mac, we know you're watching. Get involved. <laughs> so I do like the idea, though, you know, hot dogs in Leeds. Joe search history. I'm gonna have a chip. Yeah, good luck. Vegan chips. Would be mad if the chips were made of meat. <laughs> that sauce what is, is that delicious. Sauce? It's like a sort of smoky chipotle. Yeah, it is. With a bit of a kick. Milkshake. Obviously, we were debating what the milk alternative might be. We're gonna say oh, and it is. I couldn't tell you, but it's fucking delicious. Okay, fair that enough. That is that is stunning. That's really good. Really good. What is it though? Salted caramel. Yeah. Apart from that, I couldn't tell I you. I couldn't mate. tell you. And th I think that's a good thing. You know, if, if these alternatives taste exactly the same, more people will be willing to try them. I'm the lady. I'm the tramp. Yeah, you are. Ready? Oh, God. Here we go. Fat Annie's. He's, he's so no, he's he's straight in into it. He's straight into it. He's not like, Fat Annie's. This is your go. idea. This is the thumbnail. Make it good. Oh. <laughs> That's presently surprising. That is. That's you quite can, you can taste part. the smoky flavour. A bit speechless. You look stunned. A bit speechless. Have a chip. I think it's absolutely delicious. I really do. I think it's got the same sort of textures that you want from meat. Like, so you got a, the skin of your normal hot dog. You've still got that bite, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. And then you've got that sort of meaty flavours. They've obviously really replicated well with the tofu. Oh, 100%. The cheese is the only thing I can really taste that I understand isn't proper cheese. Yeah, yeah. And the, and that's, I think that's a common thing within I think the community every, of like, they, don't have, they haven't mastered cheese yet. I do feel like every vegan dish has a taste to it that you can go, that's vegan. There's nothing missing. No. I'm going to have another bite. You're going to have one more bite? Yeah, I might have two more. One bite back, though, is it? Hmm. I thought we were going to do two different scores. One score for the vegans and hmm. one score for the meat eaters. I think we can all accept that this is great food. If you're someone yeah. who's got a dietary requirement like being a vegetarian or vegan and they don't like meat. Yeah. You can come here happily knowing that that is you, a delicious hot dog. So my girlfriend is uh, is a vegetarian. Because of meat? Um, yeah, because of Joe and his bloody date plans. Um, oh, Max, go to a farm where you can pet the cows. That won't make her want to keep them alive. I would take her here and say, look, you enjoy that, yeah? 
and I would also enjoy it. But knowing James's story, knowing mm -hmm. he's gone on his own personal journey, and being vegan isn't just for like money or something like that, or to be a trendy person. He was trendy though. He was a trendy person. Yeah, I, think, yeah. I, I think this is flight. Yeah, yeah, 100%. I think it's flight. So this is great. And you Mac, come yeah. on down, find out her Twitter address and message her saying, get to bloody fat do, do, do another one of your famous raps. Um, Fanny rounds man. Thank you, Joe. Go for it. Uh, my name is Max, and I'm here to say, and he's got him fat funny. That's fucking weird. I love it around here, me. I love history. What's your favourite bit of history? Tudors. Is it? Boring. Yeah. What's yours? Or well, the Vikings? No. You'd be a king for them, wouldn't you? Huh? You'd have been a king for the Vikings. You reckon? Yeah. I don't think so. I think that's. I am Max. You'd have to. It's a lot of killing and other horrible stuff. Yeah, but it was nothing back then, was it? No, it was fine back then, wasn't it? It was, n it was nothing back then. <laughs> no, it wasn't, was it? It's it a trip it? out it to the shops. It isn't, what it, used it isn't what it used to be killing, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. People just walk around and kill about six men. Mad, isn't it? That's mad to think. If, you know the question, like, if you could bring back anything from today yeah. and take it back then. I think one thing that would be good is that, you know those drones that can make, like, things in the sky. Yeah, yeah, like you get on New Year's Eve in London. Like they make Captain Tom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. think I would Put take... a picture of that in. You'd bring Captain <laughs> Tom back to I the old days. Who Egypt. would be? Who would... He is a god. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this old man that walks so much? <laughs> uh, so I wouldn't say... You'd bring... What would you paint in the sky? If like you were... a dragon. I'd be like, behold my power. Really? <laughs> Captain Tom a <appears>. bit. <laughs> Right, Max, we find ourselves at a place with an unbelievable sign, by the way. Yes, Leeds oh, Best Burger, very arrogant. Uh, we, we can't say that, they could be. Well, they could be arrogant. We're here at Who Ya. Can that, I get a Who Ya? Can I get a Who Ya? Score. Who Ya? Who Ya? Uh, right, so here's why they are on top of our list because okay. they went viral for this clip. Oh, look at this. This is from the Burger Review. They look are stunning. So chicken burgers, beef burgers, and everything in between. This place does it all. Everything. And Max, we're about to go and get our face. A spice burger would be very different in Piccadilly Gardens. It would indeed, but I'd still try one. Would you? Yeah. That's the person I saw do spice, they pooed on the floor. Instantly? <laughs> Not instantly. How long were you watching them for? <laughs> they were clearly doing spice, and then they walked in front of a group of us and just defecated. I right, should go in. Uh, I've just had chewing gum as well. What are you going to order, Max? Uh, so I've seen the Rhino Burger. Yeah. Um, we've got a friend of the channel called Ryan the Rhino. I think I'll get that in his honour. Yeah. Also, it's the biggest he's, he's one. He's not. On there. He's not died, though, is it? No, I don't think so. Oh, right, he might die. Yeah, in his honour. The way he's uh, living his life. I'm thinking seeded brioche. Yeah. I'm getting it spot on so far, aren't I? <laughs> it's not seeded a test. Yeah, yeah, it's it's like passing an exam. Yeah. Is it? See, <laughs> I fancy a little bit of spice, so I might go with Miami. No, the fire, Miami chicken patty. The, the fiery the... buttermilk chicken. And I just, yeah, I just picked one of the smaller burgers on the menu and... <laughs> oh it's a God. tower. That is a tower. Look at the it size of that. It smells incredible. Bag. It looks yeah. incredible. I think we went perfectly with the seeded brioche. <laughs> I'm stunned a little bit here. I didn't think it would be that big. Right. So she said? Yep. <laughs> right, Not go. to him. <laughs> to me. It's tiny. It's the chuckle rubbers over here. Ready? Just I'm, I no, I, I want to see I want to see you attempt that. Oh, you only went and bloody did it. Mm. What are we saying? Hmm. He's got to go in for seconds. Oh, that's insane, yeah. man. No. Oh my god, that is a good burger. Is it? Yeah. It looks good. I was up to you, bad boy. Okay, here we go. So this is this is a rhino, and I like I like the fact this sort of. You know, it's like oil spilling from the top there. Not oil as in cooking oil, but... Uh, yes. Delicious oil. Look at that. You know that scene in There Will Be Blood where it just gushes <laughs> from... I will drink your milkshake. Oh. Oh, is that the barbecue sauce? I don't know, you tell me. I don't know. I'm going to bite this chicken myself. Oh, my food review. Mm. Right, so just looking at it, we've got bacon. We've got a mountain of bacon. Onions, I believe. Just, oh man. Chicken? Oh no, it's a hash brown. It's a hash brown. It's a bloody hash brown. No. 
Yeah, uh, wish me luck, guys. No, whilst Max is wiping his beard, mm. he'll come to me. I've just mm. dissected a little bit of the chicken. It's phenomenal. The actual heat from the buttermilk lingers a tiny bit and it slowly builds. So you're not instantly hit with like regret, but there is that fiery. And I believe it's like some sort of oil, but it's just oh, taking over my mouth. So you've got delicious chicken, which I think honestly is some of the best chicken I've had in a while. You're gonna eat that bun there? No, I'm not gonna eat that bun. I'm gonna save myself. And the, the, the actual hash brown on top, it makes it because it's not too potato, it's crispy as anything. So everyone here knows I'm a bacon boy. And that bacon is so good. Is it? Mm. It's not crispy, it's not crunchy, but it's nice, it's, yeah. you know, it's, it's, like, a, it's like proper British bacon, you know? And how's the beef? The beef is so good, man. Oh, Great saying? chips, look at these. So they're not thin, they kind of got a bit of chunk on them. Crispy yep. though. Everything about them is yes, 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 please. And they've got these chips that look like this, which is interesting because it's just like a sauce container, isn't it? it yeah. Ooh. Like a spoon. They're really good burgers, man. They are really good burgers. I think what you're looking for here is there's many different burgers you can do at the minute. And one of the new ways of doing it is sort of going more simple, more si uh -huh. like simplistic. But here is still old school sort of go a little bit messy, have a little bit of fun with it. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Go a little bit, it's sort of cheat day vibes. And I think if you want it, this really fucking holds up for that. But my burger was unbelievable. The only thing is to make the size a little bit smaller, I'd probably make the pickles a little bit smaller. Okay. And it doesn't take too much away from it, but it's fucking hard to get in my mouth. Yeah. And I want to try every little mouthful. So I squeeze it down. I've got to say though, it's some of the best chicken I've had in a long time. Yeah. These guys yeah. have created spoon chips. And for that alone, for me, so Booyah, yeah, you fly. Famous people from Leeds. Uh, there is a, uh, a girl group with a okay. famous person from Leeds in it. Cheryl Cole. No, the Spice Girls. Which one was from Leeds? Jerry Halliwell. Mel B. Mel B. You don't tell her. You don't tell. Uh, I've not. I've never told her. Do you know that Matthew Lewis, the guy who plays Neville in Harry Potter, he was born in Leeds. Was he? Marco Marco Pierre White, famous he restaurant. He was born in Leeds. Okay. These uh, are some impressive people. Your favourite comedian, Lee Francis, aka Keith Lemon, was born in Leeds. I want to go home. <laughs> Gabby Logan. Do you know what? Recognise the name. She was born in Leeds. <laughs> okay, who is she? Chris Moyles, he was born in Leeds. Yeah, who's Gabby Logan? She's a sports presenter. Oh. And finally, Jeremy Paxman. Ooh, fair play, well done Leeds. You've um, furthered, the, <laughs> furthered <laughs> the world, you know. You've done something. Yeah, you've done something. Yeah. Right, we actually find ourselves at another wonderful spot in Leeds. Okay. I'm trying to cast my mind back to another shawarma spot that we might have done. Have we done, have we done a shawarma spot? I, I, I don't think so. It's one of the the only thing that, uh, The only thing about shawarma I know about is the Iron Man eats at the end of the Avengers. Ah, they do. The like the OG Avengers. The they all go for Avengers, shawarma. They go for shawarma, which uh, you started a shawarma boom, I think. It did, did it? Yeah, it really did. If you were the Avengers now and you'd write the end of it, they've all won. Yeah. What yeah. food would you go for at the end of the next one? Ah, oh, probably sushi. Sushi's basic. How is sushi basic? Go for something like... Oh, oh, Krispy Kreme. Penne pasta. We find ourselves at a place called Skew. Okay. Uh, we have nearly 20,000 followers on Instagram. Let's click More on one of these me. viral videos. That man's got a big sword in his hand. That, <laughs> and it's not a homemade picture. <laughs> it's not massive, it's like a little... Yeah, it's a little sword, it's not like a little cocktail sword. stick. So anyway, what we know is this place has got three incredible... In fact, the man in here himself is here, he's here, he's coming in. Hello, sir. Great to see you. Come and sit there right in front of us. Get a sit in there. How you doing, mate? I'm well. Come and sit here. Mitch, 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 get in here. Now, I can't tell you how many people we've spoke to, Mitch. That Every be, single every person we went to. We, yeah, we okay. mentioned we were coming here and they were like, that's amazing. What a yeah, great every place. Single, every you, single place to meet. So yeah. why? Tell us a little bit about why. Look, I love a, a spreadsheet and numbers chart and all the yeah, rest of yeah. it. Mm. Hospitality isn't about that. Mm -hmm. It's about the best product possible and great yep. service. Everything we make here is yeah. the best that I know how to make it. And the way I've learned predominantly is through all the 
uh, Middle Eastern guys, the Arab guys, yeah, the yeah, guys from yeah. Lebanon, Syria, Palestine. They all come in. Can I give you some advice? Yeah, buddy, fire away. <laughs> You're open it, not me. Like it says, so, a community in a way, you know. Yeah, having each it, other out. Somebody and... said that. Community is an, an it word nowadays in business. Yeah. yeah. Oh, build a community. I didn't mean to build a community. I was just trying yeah. to sell really good shawarma. You lost money for 16 months and I had no bloody money to lose. I didn't take a salary. I didn't take a paycheck. Yeah. Um, couldn't buy a fucking coffee. Yeah. We were on our ass, And um, it was a rough place to be. But I knew, I knew every week, I just thought, if I can just get this right and that right and this right. And it slowly it started getting better and better. Yeah, and then yeah, yeah. There were some fundamentals at the beginning that were fantastic and we'd nailed. Sure. Jordanian guys, Palestinian, Syrians, Lebanese. We've got guys coming from Manchester, from Middlesbrough, from uh, Newcastle, from all over the place. And some of them will sit down and you, you know where the, roughly where they're from, yeah. they're from the Levant region or they're from um, the Gulf region. And they'll come up and say, can I say that I've lived here for 10 years? And I'm Lebanese and I've never eaten so I'm like yours. Really? And that's he's, amazing. He's, he's making the hair stand up yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what we work for, it's what we struggle for. Yeah, yeah. And it's why we soldiered on when it wasn't looking so positive. Kept going. Yeah, and the bloody blower was ringing and I'd not paid this and I couldn't afford to pay that. Yeah, I was borrowing yeah, packaging yeah. from five guys. <laughs> uh, and, uh, God, I was the packaging and turned up on fucking all of it not have money. Um, but we do now, things are going well. Lovely. Uh, Brilliant. Can I get you fed? Yeah, we're going to get some mixed yeah, shawarma, please, right. if that's all right, mate. Yeah. Have you make a little rip there. Okay. And then you unravel at the top. This is Mitch's technique. Te te technique. Technique. And then you cut like that. Oh, my goodness. And you try and keep your sticker on, if possible, just so that gives you... Something to hold on to. Something to hold on to. That's what everyone loves, isn't it, now and again? Cheers. Chin chin. Chin chin. This is the mix. You've got onions, parsley. shawarma. Shawarma is a delicious mix of chicken and lamb uh, kebab. Okay. <laughs> that is pretty spot on. This is the best thing we've had today. Have another bite, have another bite. The more into it, the more juicy you get going. That is phenomenal. That's the best thing I've eaten today. That second bite blew my head off. It got a little bit more into the sauce, into the Lebanese garlic mayo, oh, no essentially. Yeah, yeah. Into a lovely bit of chili, so there's the heat. And then you've got texture from red onions, parsley, bringing you that freshness, and the char of the lamb. And the, I'm having one more bite, and then I'm, I've got, I'm done. That is definitely one of the best things we've had on the, on the, the on Wingman channel in general. All right, I'm going to say this, that's the best drama I've ever had. And yeah. people aren't going to like that because what made me as a food review was Lemon June Bakery in Manchester and we got a million views You've just on shat all over them. And I'm sorry Lemon June Bakery, but you've... You, you... You're, you're rubbish compared to these no, no, guys. No, you're not rubbish, you're still second. I think we've got a new number one. And yeah. the name is Skew. I'd take the trip from Manchester to Leeds for that one. Yeah. It's, it's that good. It's that it's good. It's so, it's amazing. Loves it. Doesn't know who's working for him, does he? Delivery bag, fucking thing. Got Uber Eats shoes on. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there is without doubt that that for me is not just flight, but we normally do a ranking of the best thing we've eaten. Yeah. yeah. That has chopped it for me in Leeds. Victory is theirs. This is the this this was on the Apollo 11 when Neil Armstrong went up. It's flying all the way to the bloody moon. So as the sun sets on Leeds, Max, yep. we've conquered it. I think we've done well. Five great places. Uh, we started off with uh, Things in Bread. Things in Bread, which was delicious. Uh, right. We've had eaten everything from burgers to hot dogs, yep. vegan food for the first time, yeah, yeah, yeah. shawarma as well. And we also listened to you. Yes. You said, come to Leeds. We bloody came, we saw, we conquered. We got full bellies yep. and we ate some amazing food. So where do we go next, Max? It's up to you guys. Write it in the comments. And name five places that you like in that city. And say we happen to go to London, where should we eat in London? The wingmen are taking over the world, but the UK first. <laughs> <laughs> uh, although you want to fancy going to Alicante, don't you? I'd love to, yeah. Just for a day. Just for a day. A lot of money though, so send in your donations. Uh, we'll get a Patreon set up. Would anyone buy wingmen merch as well? Let us know in the comments. We'll do a little survey. Maybe Just some little yes. wings. What, how Just... would they work? Like, like, like yeah, like little fairy wings. That can't be all that. That can't. I would argue there's more meat eaters in the world than there are vegetarians and vegans. But well, hold on, 
What if you add all the animals together? There you go. Animals, get down to fatties. Bye. <laughs>